plenty of green long grass out there, Kevin. No doubt about that, right? It's been a great June so far. Timely moisture. More on the way, perhaps by tomorrow into the weekend here, but not a washout any particular day. We do need some more showers though. We're beginning to dry out again. We are at 79 right now in Bismarck. It's a cool, comfortable evening going into the mid to uh, mid evening time frame here for this Thursday evening. Still 80 in Hedinger and 84 in Mobridge, but only 73 in Minot. Mid 60s at Lake Metagoshi, where the clouds are a little bit thicker. Still that northwest wind between 15 and 20 miles per hour gusting at times earlier, a couple of hours ago, over 40 miles per hour, now backing off to around 30 mile per hour gusts. Now through tomorrow, we've got nice weather for sure this week, uh, tonight, next couple of hours, and the wind will even be lighter next uh, couple of hours here. But look for light southeast winds by tomorrow morning, a little bit stronger back toward Montana, western North Dakota, helping to pump in some of that moisture toward northern plains. And that's the obviously number one ingredient we need for showers and thunderstorms. And that's why the chance is going to be increasing here. A stronger wave moving out of Montana likely for tomorrow by mid evening into southwest and south central North Dakota. By and large, most of our Friday, we're not going to see a lot of moisture potential, at least widespread, a better chance for Saturday night into early Sunday morning. So for the next couple of days, really right through the weekend here, one chance for rain coming in tomorrow afternoon and evening more in the way of just isolated showers and thunderstorms. But it's Saturday night, Sunday morning. That's again highly dependent on thunderstorm formation, but most of us will see about a quarter of an inch. And again, that's scattered. That's not everywhere. This is only a map of potential given the scattered showers and storms, but maybe a bit more toward the northern third of North Dakota. Some places could easily see over one half of an inch. But hour by hour, starting at 8 o'clock this evening, widespread 70s on the way. Northwest winds continue 15 to 25, then backing off to 5 to 15 after sunset. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, widespread 50s here. Some could actually dip into the upper 40s tonight, well before sunrise. Otherwise, for tomorrow, chances for scattered showers and storms. Primarily in South Dakota and eastern Montana, and then eventually making its way into North Dakota on an isolated basis. So not a lot of rain potential for tomorrow. Again, better chance in time for the weekend. So just through tomorrow evening, level one out of five southwest North Dakota. It's Saturday, more widespread potential risk but it's an isolated severe weather prospect the way it looks right now, meaning a level one out of five, but this could be almost anywhere in the first warm viewing area for Saturday afternoon and evening. So be weather aware. Chances for severe weather will be ramping up. Father's Day looks pretty good, though. Dry upper 70s and look at Monday and Tuesday. Rain chances increasing, especially Tuesday highs in the 60s. Yeah, well, the isolation will be over my car. Yeah, probably if you wash it, that is. Well, That's the right, key. Exactly. Okay.